there, welcome to Megan Makes Cupcakes. Today I'll be teaching you how to make these beautiful flower bouquet cupcakes for Mother's Day or for any other special occasion. And I'll also be teaching you how you can wrap them in these nice cellophane bags and make a beautiful bow to go along with it as well. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through it step by step. Okay, so the things that you'll need for this video are frosting, and I've dyed mine purple, but you can do whatever color you'd like. And I did two-thirds of the frosting a darker color and one-third a lighter color. Um, as I was saying, I use purple here. And then you'll need some sprinkles or white pearls. You'll need a small cup or tumbler. I got this from the dollar store, but you can get them at any grocery store. Double-sided tape. A thin ribbon. I'm using purple once again. Scissors. Twist ties some kind of uh, favor bag that you can put the cupcake in for later and these here are the favor is the favor kit from Wilton um, it's a long white clear bag um, then I'm using the 1M Wilton tip with a disposable Wilton bag you're also going to need as many cupcakes as you would like to use and if you like some festive cupcake wrappers that match the cupcakes that you're using um, I got these for Michaels for a dollar for a packet of 12, which is actually a really great price because they're usually at least four or five dollars for that many. Um, but if you don't want to purchase these, you can just get, you know, kind of a nicer wrapper that looks festive. And these wrappers here actually don't fit the cupcakes we're using perfectly. So we're just going to cut them down to size and use sticky tape. So you just want to wrap it around and size it. It's better to actually you know, cut bigger at first than smaller to make sure. Just gonna make a little mark there. And then we can cut the other ones based off the size of the first one. Okay, perfect. And then see how we can just line that up there? And you wouldn't even know it if you have the cupcakes facing that direction. So we're just going to take our other cupcake liners and do the same thing. Okay, so we have our other cupcake liners cut and we are going to place them on our cupcakes. And this is when we're going to need our double sided tape here. So let's fit that once again. We're just going to stick the tape right here. And then wrap it around until it's positioned in a place and voila we have our cupcake liner so we're gonna do the same thing with our other two cupcakes okay so we have all three of our cupcakes ready to go we're gonna just set those to the side and then we're gonna get ready to pipe them so we're gonna use that frosting that I was talking to you guys about before we're gonna get that out and we're gonna get our piping bag with our 1M tip as well. So what we wanna do, you can really do whatever you want here. What I'm gonna to try to do is put the light frosting in the middle and the dark frosting around the sides. And what I'm doing here is I've just started smearing the darker frosting on the outside. And so then you can later take the lighter frosting and put it in the middle. Um, and don't worry if the colors kind of smear together because it actually has more of a natural effect like flowers look in real life. So now we're going to take the lighter color and you could actually even use the same spoon because like I was saying it's okay if the colors smear together. And then we're just going to stuff that in the middle. Alright, okay, so now we're, I'm going to show you how to pipe the flowers on. You're just going to twist your bag up and we're just going to be pressing down and squeezing with our right hand and guiding with our left and then lifting up and we're going to do that all the way around the cupcake until we have filled the surface of the cupcake. Okay, and now we're going to use those white pearls that I was telling you about earlier and we're just going to drop them into the middle of each blossom or flower 
And if you have tweezers, then you could use those right now, but I'm just going to use my hands. Obviously, they'd be tweezers that you'd only want to use for craft projects and nothing else. And then these little pearls just kind of, they liven things up and make them look a little fancier than they would have normally. So I really like that about the pearls. Okay, so now that we're done frosting our cupcakes, I'm going to show you how to package these beautiful cupcakes so that you can give them as a present to your mother or any other mothers that you know. Or for any occasion, these would be great um, because they're just flowers, so you could use them for springtime or anything you'd like. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to drop Hello? our cupcake into the cup. There we go, nice and smoothly. Now I'm going to show you how you can use this ribbon to make a little twist tie ribbon to go around the bag on your cupcake. So you're just going to cut out a reasonable size length. It's better to go too long than too short because you can always trim it later. Make sure you're using sharp scissors. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just take the ribbon and we're going to fold one side over kind of like a little pendant tie there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our twist ties. We're gonna wrap this around here. And then we're gonna push this part down like you would see on a regular bow. And I'm gonna turn it around on my side so I can see it better. So we're gonna push that down. As you can see like that. And then you're going to take your little twist tie, you're going to wrap it around, and you're just going to pull it under the ribbon there, and you're going to fasten it. So just going to twist that guy a little tight as you can, and then you're going to pull these sides down. Then look at that, you have a ribbon, isn't that a cinch? Okay, so you know you can do these ahead of time if you'd like as well so you got your ribbon and you're just going to open up your bag and you can drop or you can lower down your cupcake into the bag okay isn't that gorgeous okay and then you can just take your little twist tie ribbon and then we're going to fasten it once again around our bag and then kind of perk it up on the top just get it like looking like you want it to thanks so much for tuning in and i hope you'll give these flower bouquet mother's day cupcakes a try for your mother or any other mother that you love so be on the lookout for new videos so you can learn more cupcake tips and tricks. See you next time.